I'd like to demonstrate the operation of a couple new features that we've added to the Omega powder trickler. First we'll start off with some Varget powder. You'll notice the hopper is empty. We'll add just a small amount of powder in the hopper because the amount of powder in the hopper does affect the trickle. due to the weight. And we'll start off with that much powder in the hopper. We'll come over here and see if I can operate this camera and the powder trickler at the same time. We'll zoom in on the end of the uh, discharge tube. Try to. There we go. Get down there as close as possible. You'll notice I've added a weight to the discharge tube. This weight is adjustable. It changes the rate of flow. Right now it's in the slow position. We're going to start off at slow with that much powder in the hopper. We're going to run the, uh, the slow speed button, number one button, continually. See if I can lock this camera in position. can't hear the, the motor running, but it is running. I'm going to let up on that button and I'm going to adjust this weight. I have it all the way out to the slowest speed. Now we're going to move it up and it's going to increase the speed. Now that tube, discharge tube, is empty, so it'll take a little while for the tube to get full. In order to facilitate that, well, there we have powder coming down there already. I guess I don't have to switch over to the high speed button. Notice we have one kernel at a time. Uh, also, let me change positions here a little bit. Let me see, let me back up. Yeah. Also, you'll notice that I'm tapping on this button. That helps to increase the flow a little bit. If I hold it down steady, it trickles out like that. If I hit the high speed button, it tends to load up the discharge tube, which increases the flow of the powder. That powder is kind of difficult to see in there with that mirror finish on that discharge tube, but we got the we have the tube adjusted on high speed on I'm using the slow one the slow speed button, but the weight is adjusted to where this will trickle faster. You notice the amount of powder coming out at the end. We're going to change the weight. We're still going to use the number one button, slow speed. We're going to change the position of the weight out to the end, which will slow it down considerably. You can see the amount of flow now at this point. In order to get this going, I'm going to tap on it a little bit. Now, we got it real slow there. I'm going to move the weight back about midway of the discharge tube. Now it's roughly in the middle of the tube. Then we'll go back to the end of the discharge tube. See if I can get zoomed in here. Now we'll run the trickler on slow speed. You notice how it picked up the speed of the powder dis being discharged. I don't know if you can see that, but all those little powders are like little ducks in a row, all one right behind the other. And 
if you want one to drop one kernel, let me put this little cup here. Maybe that'll help. I'll have it drop one kernel. There's one. We'll dump that one. We'll drop another one. There's another one. We can stand here and do this all day. Myself. I don't concern myself with one kernel of powder. But. A lot of people do. There's one of those. Now we're going to switch over to a, a larger grain powder. This is Varget, by the way. Now let's make a mess here. We're going to switch over to IMR 7828, which is a long grain powder. And see what we can do with that. Okay, we'll start off. We, you notice we have the weight about the middle of the tube. We're going to leave it in the middle of the tube until we get some powder in the tube. We're going to start off with the slow speed button, button number one. We're going to trickle it until we see some powder coming out. And if you're impatient like I am, maybe you don't want to wait for this thing to trickle out. Oh, there it comes already. Okay. And we'll continue to do that. And if you tap on this switch, it speeds the delivery rate up a little bit. There we go. Okay, we have that weight in the middle of the tube and it's too slow for me. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. I'm going to move the weight towards the back of the tube. Let's see what kind of a difference that makes. Now I'm holding the one speed button down continuously now. You notice they're coming out like little ducks in a row. Okay, now This camera is a mess. Now I'm going to slow it down even more. I'm going to do that by sliding the weight out towards the end of the tube. Now I have the first speed button on continuously. That's how fast it comes out. This has many, many adjustments on it. Now, if you want to speed that up with the weight right there, you could tap on the switch. Or you can give it a shot with the high speed button. Number two here. But you'll notice we have the weight towards the end of the tube in the slow speed. If we move it up here, move it up at the other end. It'll come out a great deal faster, but by the same token, it'll load up this discharge tube, and then you'll have to wait and uh, discharge, get some of that powder to drop out of the discharge tube before you can go back to this having one, having little ducks in a row, so to speak, because that discharge tube will build up. Now it's kind of slow for me, so I'm going to move it back to the middle of the tube. I'm going to push on this slow speed button again. Let's see what happens. We'll tap on it a few times, get those puppies moving. Anyway, that concludes the demonstration. Thank you very much.